how can you use something that the audience knows to help them understand a problem or a challenge that's too vague or too complicated for them? Well, you'll find the answer to that in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yesterday, you were introduced to the A and the parts formula of subpoint creation. In that video, you heard about anecdotes. Today, you'll hear about the second type of anchor, which is the analogy. I love analogies and metaphors because they create pictures in the minds of the audience. It takes something that the audience knows and compares it to something they don't know, a vague concept. Consider this example. I read this years ago, and I'm paraphrasing it, but it was by a researcher who is trying to explain the difficulty in understanding how to manage and hopefully overcome the HIV virus. He said, imagine sitting in a room with a table, and on that table is a jigsaw puzzle. As you start to put the puzzle together, the lights go out in the room. You have no flashlight, and you've got no box to see what the picture looks like. That's the difficulty we face in trying to solve this puzzle of overcoming HIV. There are too many unknowns. And what we're looking for first is a flashlight so we can at least get an idea what the picture looks like. And then hopefully we'll be able to turn the, the, the lights in the room back on. But right now, we're struggling just to find a little bit of light to shine on the problem so we understand what we're doing so we can take the next step in putting the puzzle together. If you're a non-medical person, just understanding any part of a disease could be pretty, pretty difficult. And what he was able to do was help me as a reader understand the struggle they were having in just getting started to try to solve this problem. Metaphors are excellent tools to take a, a vague concept and compare it to something that the audience knows so they'll understand the scope of an issue or the enormity of a problem. Tomorrow you'll hear about the third type of anchor, which is analytics.